In this video, we're going to write code in Excel VBA that reorders the position of our columns on a new sheet that gets added. So you can see here, I have a small data set of employee records. And what we want to do is add a new sheet and reorder how these columns are displayed. I want the employee ID column to be the first column. I want last name to come before first name and I want the job title to come after the first name. So the first thing we want to do is get into the VBA editor window. You can do that by going up to the developer ribbon and clicking on the visual basic button or hitting alt F11 on your keyboard. Anywhere in this project window I'm going to right click go to insert module. So we'll call this subroutine order columns and begin by declaring some variables. So first variable is going to be called WB for workbook. It's going to be as the data type workbook. The next variable is going to be called WS. It's going to be as the data type worksheet. So this just represents the workbook we're on now and this variable represents the worksheet we're on now called records. We're going to add a new worksheet where our rearranged columns will live. So I'll call this variable new worksheet. And that's also going to be as the data type worksheet. We're going to have a variable called my array. It's going to be as the data type variant. And this is just going to represent our header values in the range A1 through E1 arranged in the way we want them displayed on our final output. So we'll begin by setting up our variables. So our object variables need to begin with the keyword set. So our workbook is going to be equal to this workbook. Our worksheet variable is going to be equal to our workbook variable and then worksheets and the sheet we're in now is called records. We're gonna add a new worksheet where our final output will be displayed. So that's gonna be equal to our workbook variable and then worksheets and add. Our Array variable is going to be equal to array, and then I'm going to drop in our column headers the way I want them arranged. So you can see we have employee ID first, and then last name before first name, and job title after first name. So what we want to do at this point is loop through this array of our headers in this my array variable. So I'm going to declare a counter variable as an integer. So it just represents each element as we loop through this array. And we're going to use a for loop here. So reference our counter variable and give it a beginning and ending point. So this is an array and the count of an array begins at zero rather than one so our starting point is going to be zero because this employee ID is the zero position in this array so that's our first element we want to go until the upper bound of our my array variable so this will just take us to the last element in our myArray variable, which is the higher date. I'm going to declare another variable called column. It's going to be as the data type integer as well because it's a number. And we're going to define our column variable. It is going to be equal to application and then worksheet function and we want to use the match function because the match function finds 
the number position of where a search value is found in an array. So the first argument is our search value. That is going to be equal to our my array variable. And then after that, we're going to add parentheses and list our counter variable, which represents each individual element in that array it starts at zero, goes to the last element of our array variable. So it starts out at zero, as I said. So it begins with the employee ID. The next argument is the array we want to look for the match in, and that is going to be equal to this array here because we want to find the position of where each of these elements is found. So we're going to reference our worksheet variable and then range A1 through E1. And the final input is the type of match we want. We want an exact match that is going to be a value of 0 for exact so the next thing we want to do is reference our worksheet and then columns and we want to get our column variable as the reference to the column because this variable here will find the position of where the employee ID is found in this range here give us that column number because we want to copy that column number. So we're going to copy and then our destination is going to be equal to our new worksheet variable and then we want to use cells. We want to reference a value of 1 for our row index and then our column index is going to be our counter variable plus 1 because remember that our counter variable begins at a value of 0 but we don't have a column 0 so we need to add 1 to that and then the only thing left is our next counter variable because we want this to increment to from 0 to 1 and go all the way to the upper bound, the last element in our my array variable. So I'll F8 through this to execute each line of code one line at a time so you can see what's going on here. So our new worksheet gets added. Our counter variable begins at zero. We begin, we define our column number that is column number five where our employee ID is found. So then it copies that employee ID to our new worksheet, copies the last name, then the first name, job title, and hire date. And so I'll blow that up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. So you can see our columns are now arranged the way we wanted them arranged. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.